Hello, we're here with Dr. Barry Quart. He's the chief executive officer of Connect Biopharma, trading on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol CNTB. Barry, great to have you back. Great to be here. Thank you. Connect Bio is targeting asthma and COPD, two very common and serious conditions. Let's start with a brief overview of your current pipeline. Yeah, so we are developing a monoclonal antibody called Redimicabart. It's a target IL-4 receptor alpha, which is the same target as Dupixent, a very well known and a very successful product that's been out in the market for several years. Uh, we've worked very hard to uh, try to improve on that product in several different aspects and going after uh, two of the same targets that Dupixent's approved for. Now, you're going after both the chronic and the acute market for asthma and COPD. Why is that such a big opportunity? Well, because all of the biologics that have been approved for asthma and COPD have been approved for chronic dosing. Uh, so that's basically maintenance therapy. Uh, patients take the drug every month trying to avoid uh, an acute uh, exacerbation, an asthma attack or COPD exacerbation. Um, our product, because it works very, very quickly, has the opportunity to also be used to treat the actual exacerbation. Uh, it would be the only biologic with that indication. In fact, all the other biologics in their package insert explicitly say, do not use to treat an acute exacerbation. So we would have that market entirely to ourselves. There's over a million asthma patients and over 1.3 million COPD patients that go to the emergency room every year because of an acute exacerbation. So it's an extremely large market. There's been no innovation in this market for over 30 years. Patients are getting the same treatment they would have 30 years ago. Uh, and we believe with a new product, a new mechanism that we can profoundly change how patients are treated. Barry, I'm beginning to see just how exciting this opportunity must seem to you as CEO. You know, you successfully completed the phase two study of Radimicabart. Again, that's your lead asset, and it demonstrated superior efficacy and a favorable safety profile. What does that mean for Connect Bio moving forward? Well, so it means that we have a product that's ready to go into phase three for chronic asthma, uh, but we've kind of put that on pause uh, while we're doing two studies to treat acute exacerbations. As I mentioned, a complete white space in terms of competition, uh, no other products being developed in this space, um, and a very, very large market opportunity. So we have an established product that's demonstrated efficacy and tolerability, as you mentioned, uh, but we are trying to broaden the use of that product to really have uh, the most dynamic opportunity from a commercial perspective. I'll, I'll also note that we have licensed the drug to uh, a large Chinese pharmaceutical company, uh, and they've already submitted an NDA for the use of the product in atopic dermatitis, another area that the drug has been used in very successfully a large market in China. Uh, we're not developing it for atopic dermatitis in the U.S. Uh, because we believe that asthma and COPD for now are the, the, the optimal target um, and a very large market. That makes a lot of sense, Barry. Let's turn now to management. You've built a U.S.-focused leadership team with a track record of getting drugs across the finish line. What can you tell us about some of the key players on your team? Yeah, happy to. It is really an awesome team. Uh, when I joined Connect in June of last year, uh, one of my mandates was to bring in a team with much greater drug development experience uh, and greater experience working with the U.S. investment community. Uh, and I've successfully really uh, changed the entire management team 
Uh, these are people that have worked with me at previous companies, sometimes up to five previous companies, uh, with a, a deep bench of people who have successfully developed drugs. I personally uh, have shepherded nine drugs through uh, at US FDA onto the market. Uh, total, we brought about 20 drugs together. Uh, and so this is a team with uh, a great history of success. Uh, and we are really excited to be working on a product that has such great opportunity uh, for, uh, for changing how patients are treated. Not only do you have a deep bench, but you have a pretty good cash runway, Barry. It goes into 2027. And you already also have regulatory alignment already secured. Give us some key milestones that investors should be watching out for. Well, as I mentioned, um, we're currently doing two studies looking at the use of Radimicabart for the treatment of acute exacerbations of asthma and COPD. Uh, we're targeting uh, obtaining top line results from those studies in the first half of next year. Uh, earlier than that, we hope to have information from a small pharmacology study that we're doing with IV Redimicabart, uh, trying to speed up the efficacy even greater. Uh, right now, we see efficacy within hours of a subcutaneous dose. Uh, we're hoping to bring that down to minutes with an IV dose. And we hope to have that information uh, by end of this year or early next year. In summary, Barry, what is the essential value proposition? Why should investors take an interest in Connect Bio right now? Well, because we have a drug that's um, clearly demonstrated uh, excellent activity and good tolerability in a category uh, where the, the lead product uh, sells for about $14.5 billion a year. Uh, we've improved upon that product, both from an efficacy um, and a safety perspective and going after a unique indication that they don't have, and we don't believe they have the ability to achieve. So we would have this market entirely to ourselves. Um, and as I mentioned, with um, over a million patients going to emergency departments well, with acute exacerbations of asthma, 1.3 million COPD patients. Um, this is a very large, unsatisfied market. So a great commercial opportunity. Great update, Barry. Thanks for being here. Thank you.